Hello from the ST stage at Embedded World 2015 in Nuremberg where we're talking about security and the increasing demand for it in both computers and consumer devices. Thierry Bousquet has been kind enough to join me. Let's talk about the ST secure element and how it's helping to protect data privacy in the Internet of Things world. Yes, exactly, exactly. So I will demonstrate in this demonstration how you can build a secure solution using STM32 plus a secure element which is called Kerky. What is Kerky? Kerky is a secure element. It is embedded in this board which is inside this IoT. Okay? But let's play and let's start with a demo and let's start with a game. Okay? So in this game I will measure my health using this MEMS and you will see on screen my health. But after I will corrupt the data and will show you how the secure element can help you to protect your data privacy. Okay? So let's start by measurement of my health. As you can see on screen, shaking the MEMS, I measure my health and well done. It seems Congratulations. I'm in Congratulations. Okay. But this is a good good story. Okay. In the bad story, you can imagine that someone hacked your system. And because you have no secure elements, your measurement will be bad forever. And someone will publish data on the internet and not good data. Okay? So let's imagine and we enable a fake server devices there. Okay? I know I will restart and I will play with my game. If I measure my health, well done, there is something bad. As you can see, 25% of health, my system was corrupted by a server. Okay? In fact, the server is what? The server is a man in the middle attack. Someone in the internet changed the data between the IoT and the server. Okay? Now, I will prefer to show you the good things. The good thing is the fact that there is a secure element. And the secure element protects your data. Kerky secure elements, ST chip protects your data. So now, I will enable the secure element. Yeah. Okay? Now, we are in mode secure. As you can see, there was data exchange between the IoT and the server. The first data that was sent by the fake server, in fact, the server detected that the device IoT connected was not authenticated. So there was something that detects that the system was fully hacked. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, go, go, go. <laughs> so after, there is many other cases. In fact, in terms of cryptography, there is different attacks that can be done. You could have attack for device authentication. There could have attack for data integrity. Someone can change your data. Okay, but also you can have problem of firmware upgrade. Firmware upgrade is what? Is somewhat change the software that is upgraded to your IoT. Let's see that. So, just to finish, last example, okay? Let's imagine I, I publish a bad firmware inside my IoT, okay? As you can see there, the firmware is upgrading, but thanks to the secure elements, there will have something that detects that the firmware sent to the secure element was bad. And as you can see, the firmware verification failed and the firmware was corrupted. So everything is fine with the secure elements. I'm reassured. Thank you, Thierry. Thanks for your time. <laughs>